What is legal now, but likely to be illegal in 1-2 years? I really hope it's those goddamn pharma ads. Get rid of that bullshit. If I need medicine my doctor will tell me about it. None of that garbage needs to be advertised like your shilling cereal to little kids. Plenty of other countries have already banned pharma advertising. My dad is a family practice doc. He absolutely hates pharma ads. Being able to marry a dead body in France. Hey, if I can't have her, then no one could have her. Is it a common occurrence? Here in the Netherlands, consumer fireworks grade 2 and above will likely get officially banned within a few years. Now during the pandemic the government has banned the usage of fireworks for New Year Eve. So an official ban will probably follow. Here's a hopeful one. Elected officials doing insider trading. Laws are very local so maybe in municipalities having plastic grocery bags is legal now and might be illegal in 2 years depending on where you live. Yes this is true and the case where I live. Fruity flavored vapes. I work at a smoke shop and the FDA is trying really hard to ban them. Some states already have. What about things like grape swishers? Pharmaceutical markups over 300%. In our dreams. My boyfriend is a type 1 diabetic and it's heartbreaking to see how much it costs for him just to stay alive. Even worse, he is likely diabetic due to his father's exposure to Agent Orange during Vietnam. This is absolutely heartbreaking, especially given the fact that the creator of insulin, Frederick Banting, went out of his way to make sure it was cheap and affordable so that everyone could have access. He explicitly stated that was why he made it so cheap and wanted it to be sold cheap. Apparently, in New Zealand, they want to ban all tobacco sales. Anyone born after 2008 would have a lifetime ban. Wait, they want to grandfather it in? So at a certain point a 35 year old can't smoke, but a 36 year old can? That's mildly how tobacco sales were in California for 3 years. When the smoking age jumped to 21 it was a gradual rollout. If I recall correctly it was people born 1999, might have been 1998, and earlier who could buy at 18, but those born the following year and later had to wait until 21 which effectively meant that the smoking age was 18 one year, 19 the next, and 20 the year after before settling at 21. Most stores didn't want to deal with training their staff on the rolling limit. So they just immediately bumped their store policy to 21 despite it not being a legal requirement. Hopefully child marriage. They tried to make it illegal in Idaho, but the state rep said it went too far. Child marriage is legal in the US. Why? This is interesting. Very utopian versus dystopian. The future. Which direction are we heading towards? History has told us it will never be perfectly one or the other and the balance comes in cycles. Advertising life-saving medicine that only applies to some conditions, as if it was a pizza, right? Why would I ever ask my doctor about my coxaflopin? They are my doctor. Sorry they can search and prescribe whatever is right for me. Upvoted for my coxaflopin. Beautiful. Hopefully calling someone from a random phone number leaving no message then calling 2 seconds later from a completely different phone number then half an hour later doing that again with 2 new random phone numbers then an hour later doing 3 in a row. Also calling homes from 1-800 and 1-800 and 88 numbers. Those should only be to receive calls. Basically make spoofing and all robber calls illegal and have actual penalties for those who do it. Yes this is probably wishful thinking. I was being spam called from a specific number, but only the last two or three numbers changed every time. That's when I tried blocking the number with, instead of the last three digits, which works. I have a phone number that I brought with me during a cross country move, a long time ago. It's great, because most of my spam comes from my own area code, and I know for a fact that no one from there knows me. So I can just block the whole range. Something tells me bang energy? Bro it's the official drink of my job. Air traffic control. We got them shoots in the vending machine. Justice for Locus. MLMs. In my dreams, 
Anyway. God I hope so. Foo are carbon. Hey, Han, we haven't talked in a while. Let me tell you how successful running my new business is. For profit prisons. Going down to the river and catching two fish and then making them kiss. It's unnatural what you're doing, Warren. It ain't right. When this is outlawed, only outlaws will catch two fish and make them kiss. Especially a catfish with a carp. Hopefully child beauty pageants. Clearly you've not seen the prestigious competition Frank Reynolds Little Beauties. You know they don't diddle kids, because they have a song about how they don't diddle kids. You morticians ever bang the dead bodies? My VPN. My precious VPN. But how will they find me when I use it to set my location to a different country? Using bots to buy things in bulk such as GPUs and PS5s and then marking up the price to unreasonable levels. I really hope so. If we could add real estate to that list that'd be great. Goddamn Zillow. Claiming that one is a famous hairdresser. Compliment people on their hair. Then offer to cut it for them. Thus procuring access to their home and rather than cutting their hair simply touching it erotically. Apparently there is someone in the Netherlands who becomes particularly aroused from hair who repeatedly does this, but it's not illegal nor breach of contract as he offers to cut it free of charge. Whoa, what the fuck that's creepy. Ha, huh. but a free haircut oh? Are they good haircuts? Or does he just touch the hair? Well not exactly illegal, but cryptocurrency will be regulated by the SEC and government. It's not even the crypto that needs regulating to be honest, but the damn exchanges do. Some of them are shady as frick with hidden rules and restrictions on how much and when you can sell etc. It's everything. Right now people blatantly market manipulate all kinds of crypto coins. Hell there was a streamer from like Farze clan or something who marketed crypto to his audience largely children. To buy a bunch of the coin he had gotten sponsored with. Once people started buying dudes dumped all his coins and the value tanked. He's done this like two or three times. At the rate Russia's massing troops, I'd say Ukrainian independence. I feel like that may take longer than two years. Between ground forces, airborne forces, and naval infantry, Russia could spare 187,000 troops unless it's willing to commit more ground forces than already assembled. Of course their 2,500 or so special forces Wagner Mercenaries and separatist forces would matter, but to take over all Ukraine they would still have so much territory to cover and there are 400,000 troops in Ukraine. Not as well armed or supported, but still. Delta 8 Weed. What's going to happen to all the Delta 8 neon signs in the shop windows? Change to Delta 10 lol. Serving vodka Red Bulls. So many bars near me have already removed them due to the health hazards and many have switched to other energy drink alternatives. In my early 20s I would drink so many vodka Red Bulls I'd pass out drunk at 3am and then wake up with my heart racing at 5am. Wide awake and almost stone sober. I'm not sure how I survived. I bartended in my early 20s and we'd drink those towards the end of shift and keep at it at the other bartender's house until 4 or 5 in the morning. Pass out on the couch and wake up like 3 hours later just buzzing in my bones. Hungover without the ability to sleep is awful. I'm 36 now, that would lay me up for 2 days or kill me if I did that again. Watering lawns, in states with water shortages. Yay they frown on watering lawns in southern New Mexico. 90% of houses are just rock yards. But those who have grass are seen as wasteful. We only get around 5 inches of rain a year lately. Thing is with rock yards that just absorbs more heat and makes the area hotter like Phoenix. Why don't people plant native plants in their yard like creosote or mesquite and stuff? Those absorb some CO2 too I'd assume though not a lot. I'm hoping selling users personal data. It honestly really freaking creepy and there's little way to get around it. Philippine independence. A dictator's son will be winning next year's elections and it'll go downhill from that. I think you meant democracy. I don't think the Philippines is going to be taken over by another country. Once again, Spain conquers TNE Philippines for colonization too. Electric boogaloo. But wait, what's this? 
It's, it's, bugged it's the USA with a folding chair. Abortion in some states. Privacy. According to the FBI it already is. Child marriage. Please ban this. Probably Kratom. I see it advertised all over my city. Asked a random shop owner how much of it they sell. He said kilos a day. It was illegal in Thailand for god knows how long and it just got legalized last couple of months. I'll be mad if it gets criminalized again. Unlimited congressional terms. This won't happen. Federal term limits imposed by states have already been ruled unconstitutional and there's no way congress will term limit themselves. If the states call for a limited convention, they can force an amendment without congress. Look up the convention of states project. They want term limits and a balanced budget to both be amendments. I'm crazy here. But gerrymandering? They'll just replace it with lerrymandering. This ain't Parks and Rec, but you might, literally, be super correct. I'd like to say conversion therapy, but that seems overly optimistic. Just got banned in Canada, fortunately, and France, flag of France. Hopefully loot boxes. What is this? Video game microtransactions that hide the details of what's inside the digital box. They cost real money and way too often the boxes provide useless or low quality items with the chance to get something higher level or game changing. Effectively making it a slot machine that can be marketed to children.